Hello, this is Miles McGeehan, and I wanted to share with you how to embed a YouTube video into an LMS. However, the YouTube video I'm going to, going to embed is not easily searchable just because it's either semi-private, such as only people with the link can view it, or the video just isn't very popular and it's probably, you know, 3,000 videos deep. And so a search for it using an LMS search uh, tool doesn't really bring anything up to light. Let's imagine I made my own video and I've housed my video over in a um, in my YouTube channel. So I'm going to just uh, go to my video manager and uh, let's say I want to grab uh, this video here about attaching Google Docs. Click on the video I'm just going to pause my video so it doesn't annoy me. And then I'm going to choose the share button. Rather than using the URL, we're going to actually pull the embed code. The embed code is basically some uh, HTML code that uh, will work in any type of um, site that, that has an HTML editor available, which uh, Course Sites does. And uh, notice I can also reset the video size. If I want the video to be larger or smaller, I can adjust that here. And then one other trick, if you want the video to be really small, you can click in here and type in, let's say I wanted it to be 200 pixels wide. Roughly a good rule of thumb is that the height would be four fifths or 80% that. So that would be about 120. And then copy all this. Go back to uh, our course here, and I'm going to build some content. I'll make an item. You can do this with an assignment too. Anywhere we have a, a text editor area. I prefer to include a, a table here to organize the video and spa uh, save space. I'm going to do. I like to do three columns, and I'll describe why in a second. One row, and I give it zero border, which means it's an invisible border. Choose insert. Notice I have this little border here. I like the video to be on the right side, and I'll have text that I can type in on the left side in a moment. Um, now, what I need to do is, I, I usually like to make a little place marker. I put in a period, and then once I do that, if I choose the HTML icon, I'll be able to find that period in this HTML script. As I look along, I'm looking until I find a period between different table breaks. Here it is right here. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to highlight that, and then I'm actually going to replace that period with the text that I copied from YouTube. This is that embed code. And hit update. Notice a little window pops in here. That's my place marker. Now I can click back in other parts of my invisible table here and give maybe some directions for my students. And then I can actually uh, stretch things out here a little bit. Let me do that. I stretch it out until I notice that the uh, I seem to be running out of room on the window in the bottom. Like when you see a, uh, right there it is. At the bottom, notice a, a horizontal scroll bar pops up. I just bring the table in just shallow enough so that there's no horizontal scroll bar. Um, I can mess with some of the alignments here if I want this so that it's not just in the middle. I can uh, choose this button here on the table properties, and that's uh, the table cell properties. And I'm going to do a vertical alignment top and left. And notice what my text does, it goes to the top left part, and uh, I can readjust this table just a little bit more. Excellent. And uh, let's go ahead and hit uh, submit and see what this looks like. Oh, I might need to give a quick little title, I'll just do some letters real quick and then hit submit. Alright, here's my example. I've got uh, the title, just some random letters I threw in there, the directions, and here's my YouTube video. Now, when I embed the YouTube video, it um, when I hit play, it's not going to enlarge, so it's important to Hello, make a note. This is Miles McGinn here. 
It's important to make a note uh, to the students here in the directions that they need to expand it using the full screen button here or they could watch it on YouTube using this button. So uh, you'll definitely want to have the students become acquainted with this. Uh, this is not as sophisticated as uh, the, Im the embedded YouTube um, that you get when you use the Core Sites tool. So that's how to embed your own videos. Until next time, have a great day.